Tutu, me too. Sleeping upside down sure makes me tired, even after sleeping a whole night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, my little possum, what, what, what are you going to do today? Well, I got some schooling to do and tell Leo and Leona. Uh, do some laundry, then I need to clean up our cave. So no matter how many times I sweep our cave, it always seems to get dirty again. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, but you know the last time you tried to uh, wrap the whole cave and saran wrap, <laughs> you kept it, to, you know, to keep it from getting dirty. You, me, and Leo and Leona, we kept flying off. It was like a slip and slide. Leo and Leona thought it was great, but climbing back up took me all day. Oh. <laughs> uh, hmm. What about you? What does your day look like? Well, I best be getting her off to work. Uh, if I don't go through those dumpsters, they won't go through them by themselves. Mm -hmm. I have this one big dumpster by Denny's, and then the <laughs> very other one by the gas station. <laughs> and then there's that big one behind the grocery store. Oh, that one's the best. So much old food and so little time. Oh, just don't bring home any more stinky socks and try to tell Leo they are just little puppets. I had to take him down to the river and wash him for hours just to get the smell out of him. Okay, okay. But they are kind of like sock puppets. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have been thinking about our family. Oh, yeah. Uh, what about my little pudding possum? <laughs> I think we should go on a quest. Ah! That's a great idea. Oh, my God. <laughs> Give me a minute. Oh, no. <laughs> Last time this happened, he went into the woods for a week and pretended he was an eagle. He went and found a tall tree and then he made a nest. He tried for weeks to lay an egg and then, oh, this is the worst part, <clears throat> he tried to fly. <clears throat> he thought if he had enough feathers, he could stitch some wings together. Well, have you ever seen a raccoon in five casts? <laughs> They even had to put his poor little tail in the cat. Oh, it was such a big mess. Oh, it was horrible. I had to spoon feed him jello for a month. Oh no. We will defeat any boredom we may feel as we fly through the universe uh, with our kids, of course, defeating all the powers of boredom. Uh, no, okay, not that kind of quest. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, you know, if all Jedi Star Wars thing is still too weird, I could be like Rocket Raccoon. Uh, yeah. No, no. I was thinking of a quest to seek the Lord and his weed for us. Oh, well, uh, well, but we go to church, Penelope, and you, me, Leo, and Leona, all of us have given our hearts to Jesus. But there must be something more. Well, I mean, you know, if you insist, yeah, maybe, maybe we should go on a quest to seek the will of God. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, well, now that we got all that settled, I got to go uh, dumpster dive for dinner. Uh, you got to leave now. We got to seek the will of God. No. Okay, okay. Well, let's, uh, let's do it. Okay. Revelation 3.20 is true. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. It comes in, God! <laughs> uh, oh, well, I'm not God, but thanks for the compliment. Ah, uh, Sammy, what are you doing here? I just thought I would stop by and say hi. Uh, oh, we were just talking about needing to seek the Lord as a family. Oh, that is wonderful. Where are you reading in the Bible? Uh, nowhere. Uh, I don't even know where mine is. I think I might have left it at the church. That way, I know it'll be safe in the house of God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, why do you ask so much? 
Sunny. We always listen to on Sundays when Pastor Pastor is teaching. Oh, why don't we need to read it on our own? He tells us all we need to know. Yeah, I mean that's what we pay him for. <laughs> well, God's word is alive and active. It cuts to our hearts and is the inspired word of God. Oh yes. I kind of forgot about that since you were seeking God's will for the last thirty seconds. So uh, why do you think it's so important for us to read the Bible? I mean, we went. We we want to seek the Lord as a family, and we need a we need a sign or a miracle, like a sign, echo, like a sign and a miracle combined. Uh, not exactly. Seeking God's will always starts with our own personal relationship with Jesus and daily seeking Him. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in Him. Oh, my, that is beautiful. Was I asleep when Pastor Potsam said that last week at church? I, I try not to doze off when he's teaching. <laughs> well, it's in the Bible. Psalm 34, 8. This is why it's amazing to read the Word of God and see what it has to say to us. We should take it personally what the Bible says. Well, of course we should. Then why don't you spend time daily reading it? Uh, uh, well, because I, I need to go and uh, eat uh, breakfast. Yeah, that's it. Yes, I must eat breakfast too. So then I miss reading my Bible too. Yeah. Well, all I know is that if something is really important to us, then... We make sure to do it. Oh yes, that makes sense. But just like our K always finds us food every day because we need food to survive every day. Exactly. Deuteronomy 8, 3 says that you may know that man shall not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. Oh yeah, and Jesus said that when he was being uh, tempted by Satan. That's right! So then the Bible is our bread. As bread is eaten daily to sustain us, so God's word sustains us on a daily basis. Right again! Okay, okay, that's great. But, but where do we start with seeking God as a family? How do we get the, the kids involved in like uh, family, family devotion? Well, all you got to do is share what you read in the Bible and talk to your kids about what the Lord showed you. Oh, now I know why that is such a problem for us as a family. Neither of us spend any time in our Bible daily. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. We have a winner, folks. Uh, yes, but where do we start reading? I always tell my friends to read either a chapter or just a half a chapter of the Bible every day. And to start in one of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. Then you need to remember the three R's. It run, wriggle around, and then rest. That's the three R's of patterns when we are in danger. The three R's are how we play patterns. <laughs> no, Penelope. The three R's are read, reflect, and respond. Read as in read your Bible. Reflect like when we meditate and pray about what we just read. And finally, respond. This is when we apply what God has shown us from his word and doing what it says. Oh, that is cool. Even I can do that. Everyone can. Well, Sammy and I are going to go and do a little studying together. I'll be right back, my sweetie. Can you wait the kids? Okay, sure, dear. You and Sammy go on and go study. That sounds great. I'm sure the kids will get up. Uh, kids! Kids! Oh, man, they never wake up when they're supposed to. Oh, come on. Kids! Kids! Oh, sure, kids. What? What? Holy deep fried unicorns. What did you do? Oh, the larger, 
hungry predators will see you so easily, you'll be a quick meal to them. Oh, like a hot meal? More like a hot butt. Oh, you would always get us my beautiful fur. Lord, well, like a gigantic tomato. <gasps> That's enough, you two. I want to let you know that Mom and I have been talking. Oh, really? Yeah. So, can we get that small wolf cow I sat down by the river? That's the worst idea I have ever heard. You could raise him until he was full grown and then he could eat us. I would train him to be a vegetarian. That might not work. With your hair dyed, you look like a big radish. No, 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 Leanna. We're with you. We aren't going to talk about that again. I want to talk about having family devotions. Uh, like where we study the Bible? And the family? Yeah, that's right. Awesome. I heard Pastor Paul say that in the Old Testament, the Israelites were to teach their children about the Lord. Oh, yeah. I remember my that verse. I got a chocolate grasshopper for memorizing it. Deuteronomy mm -hmm. 6, 67 says, And these words which I command you today shall be in your hearts. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. That is such a great, great idea, because that verse goes right along with doing devotion. Every morning, each one of us should rise up early and seek the Lord. Well, how do we seek the Lord? Should we just sit around doing nothing? In that case, you must seek the Lord all the time, because you do nothing a lot. No, no, it's really simple. Here's what you do. You wake up, you grab your Bible, and you spend some time in prayer. Read a few verses, chapter, or chapter, half a chapter. Oh, and then remember the three R's. Uh, run, wriggle around, and then rest. Not the three R's that Bob said, all possible, no. No, no, no. The three R's are read, reflect, and respond. <laughs> reading, as in reading your Bible, reflect, like when we meditate and pray about what we just read from the Bible. And finally, respond. This is when we apply what God has shown us from His Word, and we do what it says. Wow, this is amazing. How long did you know that? Oh, about ten minutes. <laughs> you have good retention for an older raccoon. Well, that all makes sense. If you want to see God's will for your life, you should do it first thing. Yeah, then we could all come together as, as, a, as a family at night and talk about what the Lord showed us in His Word. Okay, Sam. Well, what if I wake up in the morning and I'm really tired and I don't feel like reading my Bible? Oh, that's a good question, Leo. Well, let me ask you a question. Do you both like to eat? Well, yes. Every day. Very much. This applies more than others. Okay. Well, you both know. You both know that in order to live, you need the nutrients from the food you eat. I think that, uh, it must be the same when we read the Bible. We need to seek the Lord daily through His Word and prayer. It gives us the nourishment we need. Well, that answers my question. Yeah, I get it, Dad. Oh, one more question. So, I can't get a wolf pup, right? Yes. So, I can get a wolf? You said no, Leona. No, he said yes. I said yes, you can't get a wolf pup. See, now you said yes. We can call him Lobo. That's wolf in Spanish. Great! He'll be a vegetarian bilingual wolf that we can't even have. Okay, you do that enough. Why don't you both get ready for your day? I gotta go get to work. Those dumpsters won't sort themselves. Okay, bye, Dad. Yeah, bye, Daddy. Hello? Maybe I should have called them. It doesn't seem like anyone's here. Maybe, no, could have sent them a message. That's just weird. There doesn't seem to be anyone here, Uncle Barney. Oh, that's okay. You know, we can leave a note that we stopped by. Uh, wait. Wait, wait, I am here. I was with Sammy talking about meeting with God every day. Oh, and then we talked about the three R's. Run, wriggle around, then rest? Possums do that, and it is very handy against large predators. Oh, you are funny there, honey. The three R's are read, reflect, and respond. Read, as in reading the Bible. Reflect, 
by going meditate and pray about what we just read from the Bible, and finally respond. Yeah, that's when we apply what God has shown us from His Word, and doing what it says. Yes, yes, that's it. But what are you two doing here? Well, it's take your niece today to work today. So I brought Honey with me to go see how the other forest animals go to work. Yeah, I can't wait. I mean, what a unique way to get free labor and ignore child labor laws. Yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to meet R.K. here to go head over to his work because I wanted to go show Honey what R.K. does. Besides, I've never dug through dumpsters before. I sound so glamorous. By the way, did you, did you enjoy your time with Sammy? Yes, I did. But I just don't know about seeking God every day and reading my Bible every day. Oh, and then praying too. I am so very busy with, with homeschooling Leo and Leona, cleaning the kids and cooking. Oh, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Good. That sounds so exhausting. You are so busy. You have no time for God. That is very busy. I hope when I grow up, I, I'm not that busy. No, no, I'm not saying I don't have time for God. It's just that I am too busy for him. Er, er, I, I mean, uh, oh. Well, I think I understand a little. I have lots and lots of business around these woods. You know, since I'm like a general contractor and all, and I get to build lots of homes for forest creatures. Except for Miriam the Mole, you just gave her a bunch of dirt and told her to dig her own home. You said it was like a fixer-upper. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just don't do well underground. Oh, yes, so you can understand. Yes. One day, after many weeks of building houses and dens, I realized I had not been meeting with God. I had gotten too busy for Him. Almost instantly, I remembered this verse from the scriptures that says in Romans 5 8, but while we are still sinners, Christ died for us. I saw, I saw then and there that before I was even born, that God made time for me and even given me eternal life. Wow, that is deep, Uncle Barney. Well, yeah, ever since that day, I realized if God has done so much for me, why can't I, can't I make time for Him? Uh, you know, and try to get to know him better. And the plan he has for me, I want to know about that. Essentially, I'm just learning more and more about him and his love for each and every one of us every day. You make a really good point there, Barney. It is that I don't have time, but that I was not making time for good. That is most everyone's problem. It isn't that they don't have time for God, but they put things before God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. And the best way for our kids to fall in love with Jesus is for us to be in love with Jesus. Yes, yes, I get it. They will see the example in us if our team and don't put Jesus first. Then how can we expect Leo and Leona to do the same? Oh, yeah. You got it. Now that that's settled, can we go to work, Uncle Barney? Oh, okay. Let's go. We'll see you later, Penelope. Tell our day that we stop by. If we can't dig through dumpsters, then maybe we could go to your construction company and build something. Yes. I want to build a tree or maybe even a rock. Yeah, okay. Bye. Bye. All of this talk reminds me of those Bible verses I heard as a young possum. Mm -hmm. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. It is living and powerful and sharper than a little sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit, and of joint and marrow, and is the cerner of the thoughts and the tents of the heart. And there is no creature hidden from his sight, but all things are naked and open to the eyes of him to whom we must give account. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in the righteousness that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Now, if God's word is really all those things, then I need to be in his word, so I can get to know him better and his plan for me. I've got to go. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.
Then they roll a baby in. I don't know, Choco. I think they know it's over. Hey, roll a baby in. Okay, okay. I know the kids need to get their classes. Pastor Joshua has a message to teach. Say goodbye, Choco.